Saturday morning about 6.40am, just about to drive off to the Snake Pass, just past Glossop. Going to walk this morning on the Pennine Way again. We're going to go north from uh, the Snake Pass towards Crowden this time. Looking forward to it. It's going to be a really nice day, I think. Just starting the hike, just after seven in the morning. Just up on the snake pass. A few weeks ago went that way, uh, south towards Kinder Scout. This morning we're heading north. Heading this way towards Crowder. Just a few minutes in. So this morning heading out towards Bleaklow Head and then down into Crowden. Should be about five miles and then five miles back to the Snake Pass from where I started. Really beautiful morning. Expecting temperatures of 20 to 25 degrees today, which is pretty good for late September. I've not hiked along this bit for a, a year or two. When I did, it was in January, so I'm expecting it to be a bit of a sunnier occasion today. But it's really nice out here, really peaceful. Looking forward to a nice long hike. I want to put the miles in today, to be honest, but it should still be a good time. One mile from starting off, it's quite a rocky path at this point. Eight in the morning, been walking for about half an hour, 1.6 miles in, really nice so far, let's continue. So it's a very boggy path at this point, just over one and a half miles from the Snake Pass, 
in a northerly direction towards Bleaklow Head. Very rocky and boggy. Just under two miles in and we pick up a bit of a better path here back to the flagstones. That last half a mile stretch was very rocky and boggy. But don't worry, you're still on the Pennine Way. This is the trail here. As you can see, it's quite uneven and foggy. Approaching Big Low Head now. Time for a coffee. In the centre of the shot you can see Lado Rocks right off in the distance there. As we continue down from Bleak Low Head, you can also see Black Hill in the distance. So yep, been walking about 53 minutes, just over two and a half mile, miles now heading down towards Crowden. So really good views here as you walk down from Bleak Low Head towards Torside Reservoir and Crowden. You can see Manchester City Centre off there in the distance. You can make out the uh, main view skyscrapers. Really nice morning. A little bit chilly, but it's to be expected in late September. We expect the temperatures of over 20, so really nice day coming. Just over three and a half miles in. Really nice out here. Some tricky places now and again, but really nice as we head down towards Torside Reservoir and 
crowded. Starting to see the odd hiker now. Look up 4.3 miles. You can see Torside Reservoir down there now. Crowd is just down the valley too. And up there you can see Meadow Rocks on the way up towards Black Hill. Hopefully you can hear me over the wind. It's quite windy up here. Probably going to go another half mile, something like that. I don't think I'm going to go all the way down into the valley because looking at the amount of uh, up and down I'm going to have to do, given that I have to go all the way back to the snake path. I think I've got to be sensible and stop it short to about five miles so I can do a 10 mile hike today. I don't think it's worth me going all the way down to the valley and all the way back up again, given that I have to go back to the car, as I say. But it's glorious. It's sometime after 9 a.m. Been walking for about an hour and a half. Been out on the snake pass about two hours ago. Had a coffee break, of course. But really nice here. Really nice path. So I've turned back now, an hour and 45 from setting off, five miles, just uh, at the end of there as it starts to uh, really steeply fall down towards Torside Reservoir and Crowden. So I'm going to stop for a cup of coffee and then head back towards the Snake Pass, which should take up to about two hours. So I'll take the odd photo or a video of anything interesting, but that's me headed back on this glorious day. Okay, I've done 6.4 miles so far. Two hours 20 since staying off at the Snake Pass.
back up Luclo Head on the way back to the Snake Pass. It's been a really good hike. It's been about seven miles now, about three miles back to the Snake Pass.